So this is a loading technique to the back part of the hip or into the butt area, right in through here. So you can use a ball or you can use a foam roller. I'm going to demonstrate using a foam roller. Now there's different positions that you can try. You can do it lying face up or you can do it seated. I'm going to demonstrate it seated. I'm going to place a roller down and then I'm going to sit right on top of the roller. Now you can do it with both your uh, glutes on top of the roller or you can shift more weight on one side or the other. So I'm going to start off first with both of my, my glutes on top of the roller. From there with my knees bent like this, I'm going to slowly try to extend or straighten out my knees so it switches a position or, of the roller on my glutes. And then I'm going to roll the opposite direction, just like this until I feel an area of sensitivity. Once I do, I'm going to hold it there. So I feel some right in through here. Then there's two different techniques I can use. Number one, I can do a seek and destroy, or number two, I can do a pin and stretch. The seek and destroy is I sought the area that I want to work on, now I'm going to destroy it. In order to destroy it, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more weight on it. So I'm going to shift my weight towards this glute where I can feel an increased load into the tissue, and I'm going to hold that there. If I want to add a little bit more load, I can take this hand and drive my knee towards this direction in order to add more pressure. So I'm going to add a little bit more pressure and hold that position. Once that tissue kind of mellows out or it decreases in sensitivity, I can progress to the next tissue. So I'm going to go back into starting position and then just kind of roll until I feel another area and I feel it right about there. So I'm going to hold this position and now I'm going to show you the pin and stretch technique. So once I'm on that tissue, I'm going to pin it down by adding a little bit of weight and then I'm going to bring this knee up towards my chest just like so. Now I'm stretching out the tissue. I'm going to hold that there and slightly back off and then I'm going to go a little bit more and hold that right there. From there, I can, I can bring my knee in towards midline or bring it away from midline to add a little bit more variation to the load. And then once I find an area, then I can hold that there, keep my knee stationary and now swivel my ankle in or out, toward, uh, so in towards midline or away from midline. See if that increases the sensation. It does when I'm going like this, so I'm just gonna hold that position until it melts. And then once it does, then that's when you can progress to the next tissue.